Hi, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we will learn how to set up professional working environment in Rhino. I've been working with Rhino for over five years now and I mainly work in interiors and architecture, doing architecture. So um, I found that default settings are, are not good. So I'll just show you my preferred working setup or interface. We can access um, uh, properties uh, by going to either this icon or here. Uh, so let's go here. And just let's change some main uh, values. So let's start from a grid. Uh, normally I, I work in smaller grid. Well, now I cannot change it, but I tend to change it to something like 20. Um, next, um, we can go to units. So depending on what units you like, you can change it here, but I'll leave it millimeters because that's my preferred uh, preferred units. Uh, next, let's go to file. So things important here are uh, autosave. So let's do every 20 minutes is fine. Just make sure um, you, you browse the location of your autosave file to the, to the folder you work. So just whenever a Rhino crashes, you can easily access the file and recover it. Um, next, let's go to general. Um, I would recommend to um, switch off this or just uncheck this uh, show ISO curves. It just makes your entire scene much easier, lighter to handle for your memory. And I just, yeah, it just looks cleaner for me. So I like it, turn it off. Um, next, let's go to view and to display mode and to shade it. So what I change here, uh, one important thing is to, to change um, Shit it uh, just a minute. Yeah, this um, back face settings. So now it's set up to, to show both front and back face as a front page, front face. So let's go and change it to um, single color for all back faces. And I typically choose something like bluish or purple. So very, very distinct. It just helps you, um, this setting helps you to see your model in, in a shaded mode especially when you apply materials and emitters you know you see back and front faces so that's just very helpful so these would be main changes in properties next um, let's change the pop-up menu you can access it by simply clicking the middle mouse button so the scroll wheel most of the time um, we can easily modify the size just simple drag it so you can see that there are some icons already, but uh, I don't use all of them. And some of them, let's say like this, uh, hide objects. Um, you can still open it to sub menu. Oops. Um, yeah. So let's just open it again. Drag it. So we can remove and or add uh, icons into this pop menu or pop up menu or any other place simply by dragging and holding shift or control whenever you hold shift it removes it, it just simply moves the location so it doesn't copy so let's say now i'll just delete this icon here so i simply click shift and drag and delete so just drag it in opens place and then ask uh, arino asks you if you want to delete this uh, item so i'll say yes uh, same with uh, save normally I, I do save with my hotkeys or uh, shortcuts so just Control s so that's why i don't need in here so same thing shift move delete yes um uh, same goes with shaded view mode i don't use it that much so just uh, remove it uh, same goes with render and properties because you can access properties here so it's easier okay um so what we need now add uh, some additional icons let's start from hide objects and so um, so let's now let's do a copy so uh, just hold control and, and drag so we can do this we'll need that this one and that one uh, next let's go to uh, select or zooms so we'll need this um, also, sorry, um, just remove it. So we have it already. We need this and this one. 
So this um, tool just zooms to be selected. So very important, very useful. Next, um, we'll need a couple of tools from this section. So first of all, uh, select curves, very useful, especially when you work with some curves at the beginning and when you just want to select them and probably put in X, a separate layer. So, you know, you just will need this. Um, also, I use quite, a, quite often is this selection, so duplicates. So if, especially if you work with CAD files, you know, some lines are overlapping. It just cleans, cleans up your entire scene. Okay. Um, so what next? Okay, so we have these. Um, also, very useful tool to have is this uh, merge. So let's add it. And um, and next would be a split, as well as trim. And transform would be we'll need rotate. Um, let's open sub menu. So that would be scale, scaled in 3D, in 2D, and in 1D. Um, also, let's add mirror. That's very useful. Um, so next, let's go to Boolean. So most often I use Boolean union and Boolean difference. And that would be it from this part. Uh, finally, let's just add some dimensions. As I said, I often work with uh, actual objects, so um, interior spaces, let's say. I need this. And um, yeah, so these would be main pop up tools. Let's just organize them in, uh, in order. So let's start by just moving. So you can just shift and move just you know to group them in a way so it's easier to find and next um, let's do selections so we'll need this tool um, this next to this and then hide all high selected and show selected and no okay um lock is good next would be join explode uh, maybe s select lines uh, well let's just move um, trim and split next to each other next to explode next would be selections or oh, we can add this actually and um, rotate scale mirror and boolean so yeah this would be my pop-up menu so we can turn it off finally let's just go to our uh, this section here so you can see that there are a couple of windows open already so help display layers and so on i don't use uh, help that much so we can simply unclick it and check here right click or you can just um, separate it and turn it off manually sort of um, I use a lot and everyone does I guess layers so we, let's just modify it because uh, by default there are so many are quite many things shown here which I don't use much so let's just uncheck them again right click and um, I don't do printing from Rhino or not that often also I use um, external Maxwell plugin for render so I don't need material so let's just leave it here now we can modify it um, obviously we'll need color also current layer and uh, yeah so we need these fee these uh, five five sections we can move a uh, current layer before the name so it's just easier to see which one is selected um, let's just change with width of the color and let's check again okay can give more space to name of the layer so um, let's just put it back something like that or we can just uh, next nature maybe depends how you like 
I like it. So this would be my um, default working environment. <clears throat> uh, next part will be keyboard shortcuts I'm using and I'll show you in next video. So thank you for watching and bye bye.